So today I'm going to talk about one of my most highly watched and commented videos, which is my belly binding video. Um, this video is like three years old. And so I want to come back and talk to you a little bit about belly binding as well as how to properly um, belly bind and some of the things that I learned and some and some of the things that I learned during belly binding after my pregnancy and what I could have did a little bit differently. Um, so belly binding basically is you want to do this after you have a baby like immediately after you have a baby and the benefits of belly binding especially for me when I had a c-section was it relieved a lot of the pain so you guys asked if that was painful it relieves your pain it also gives you that snapback like a lot of those snapbacks that you see on Instagram and things like that it does give you a, a better I would say a, it improves your snap back um, some people are just genetically made to snap back I know for me it really like improved like my stomach instantly slimmed down after about three weeks so you definitely want to use some type of postpartum belt anytime you belly bind and these are really good belly the type of postpartum belts that you could use I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use these in just a minute but you want to use these these are very inexpensive inexpensive you can get them on Amazon and this is actually the vendor that you can get it from on Amazon and I'll actually leave the link below as well okay you guys so here is the first belt this belt is very simple to use this belt is recommended to use one to seven days after a vaginal delivery so all you have to do is take the belt and tighten it just like this it is recommended that you wear this belt on top of a shirt as opposed to under a shirt Okay, so here is what the second belt looks like. It does have a strap right here, as well as it comes with two additional straps. This belt is recommended for use 